This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video preview of a test shot of X Transbots MX3 Elegos, or their take on a very large, cartoon accurate Cyclonus. Um, as you can see here, he is uh, quite massive and uh, very accurate to the cartoon model from the show. He's uh, about 11 inches to the top of his ear, so he's very tall. He has a lot of die cast here in his uh, feet and his legs. So he's a uh, one pound, five ounces, so he's very, very heavy, very, very sturdy. As far as this test shot is concerned, um, he does come with a lot of accessories. Um, he comes with two different guns. He comes with this uh, gun, this gun. He also comes with his Target Master Nightstick, and I'll show off his transformation in a little bit. He comes with a sword, um, similar to the sword he uses in the IDW comics. Comes with an alternate uh, face up here. Uh, essentially the only difference is that the chin doesn't have the little uh, painted beard. He comes with a very, very, very small uh, Galatron here, whose legs and um, elbows can move, and actually sits in uh, Elagos' cockpit in his jet mode, and I'll show that off. And then finally he does come with uh, a flight stand. This essentially is the same one that came with Andress, their version of uh, Scourge. And the only difference is that this little piece here um, pegs on top, and this I'll show off in, in, in his space jet mode of how he uh, can be uh, stored on this uh, uh, stand here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some close-up details here for Elagos. Taking a closer look here at the test shot for Elagos, you can see that X Transbots has hit the design um, Bullet points for a G1 styled Masterpiece Cyclonus. Um, you can see that he's very clean overall, not much kibble on the back. The backpack section here does hide everything quite well, like the nose cone of the jet. No real hollow parts throughout. The plastics and the paints and the purples all look good and are accurate to the, the show model. Like here, this light kind of pink lavender on his legs, belly, and arms is actually um, accurate to the show model. Um, from the G1 cartoon. So again, stylized wise, he looks uh, very much like what you would expect a Masterpiece Cyclone to look like. As far as uh, posability and articulation, his head and neck here are on, is one a rotation joint and then the head can pivot forward and back. So you can look up and down. He does have a uh, really nice light piping in his eyes. Um, most of the transformation, his ears here can be pointed and moved out of the way. So you have a little play there. His shoulders here have a nice soft ratchet to them. And moving up and down, and then there's actually a separate kind of joint hinge joint here that lets the arm kind of lift up when you want to uh, have it be more straight. He does have an upper bicep swivel here. He does um, have the ability to, to curl his arm quite well here. And very stiff joints throughout. His hands here are uh, kind of X Transbots and KFC kind of individual fingers, so you have a lot of different options. As far as his hands, he does have a slot here in the hands that can hold any of the weapons very well. You just matter pegging in on the weapon and curling up the fingers. And you can wield uh, everybody, including his target master and sword. Very, very nice. And so overall, um, very nice upper body here. He does have a slight ratchet in the waist, so you can get some uh, torso twists there. The legs have a nice strong ratchet outwards. If you move this flap, they ratchet forwards, ratchet back. The knees are nice and stiff, even with all the die cast here, he can hold his knee up very, very well. Um, ankle articulation, this entire platform here for his uh, foot can pivot to the side. He can point his toe and bend it. And there's a lot of different options here. He's got really nice uh, and heavy heel spurs here for support. He doesn't really need these, but he does, if you want to have him be even uh, more secure, you can pull those out. So he's got a lot of options there as far as his legs. He does have an upper thigh swivel and just overall very, very nice design and bits of posability here from um, Elagos. As far as his target master partner here, you can see here he is nightstick in his robot mode. Very evocative of the G1 version of the target master partner. I don't know whether there's any more additional paint details that will come on this figure, um, but this is just a test shot that we have here for preview. But as far as posability on this guy, um, his head can turn side to side. He's got ball jointed arms and a hinge here. So he's got a little option there. Double jointed elbows. Legs are on a ball joint. Knees can bend. So very, very solid and secure, nice sized uh, target master here. And to transform him into his gun mode, it's just a matter of taking this piece here, folding the torso forwards, folding the head in, 
to coming to the legs here and straighten them out and then moving this piece um, downward like that. There's a similar smaller piece on the other side, so just move that piece out, fold the feet up. The feet will peg together mostly due to where now you can see this is the gun handle where it goes. We want to uh, fold the pieces back like this. The arms will uh, hinge backwards like that and then the hands will come down and there's a peg on the leg here where the hands will uh, hold onto the sides of the gun on each side. I'm not quite sure if this is the actual true transformation, but looking at all the pictures, this is uh, what I can sustain from it. And then we can take the uh, front of the gun here. And there's a little uh, pull tab here and you can extend the gun. So there is Nightstick in his gun mode. And just like the other weapons he has, just a matter of matching up this uh, peg here in the hand. And uh, Elagos has no problem here wielding his uh, target master nightstick. Taking a look at some posability options here for Elagos, you can see that he gets some very nice stoic looking poses here, standing and looking very regal. Or you can get him if you kind of bend his knee and move the uh, joints of the way, you can also get some very dynamic poses and then with individual fingers, you've got a lot of range here to kind of get him uh, doing all kinds of different uh, posing options for your shelf. Very, very nice effort here from uh, X Transbots. Solid uh, looking Cyclonus overall. He's just, you know, very clean, which you kind of hoped a masterpiece uh, Cyclonus would look like. So let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, transformation into his jet mode. With this being a pre-production piece, I unfortunately do not have instructions. Um, both of his modes have very distinct places where everything fits and locks in, but I bet the uh, instructions would show the correct process to kind of transform between his modes because it can be a bit tricky to kind of move all the different uh, kind of uh, panels and stuff away. So I might struggle a little bit as I get him into his jet mode. So we'll start by coming to the legs down here. And if you look at the inner leg here, this panel will uh, fold out. We want to fold this piece flat, come to the other side. Um, this little panel here will unpeg. There's a peg that pegs it into the leg. And this entire piece here will unfold with the thruster and the wing. We want to move that out into the side. The uh, inner leg here, so this inner leg actually there's a peg that uh, locks it into the knee here. We want to unpeg that so that that part comes loose and we can lift it up. You can see there's a joint here. That lets us come to this piece, fold it up, and it'll fold in, in front of the uh, knee here. And then we all unfold it further and that actually ends up being uh, part of the undercarriage for the jet mode. The overall knee will collapse, uh, will eventually collapse down, but we'll come to the other side and just finish what we did to um, this leg and kind of get everything opened up. So this panel folds down, folds flat, come to the other side, open up this panel, pull out the thruster, unpeg the inner knee, raise it higher, come to this piece, fold it up so you have clearance to bring it in front of the knee, and then open it up again. So that it sits like that. We will uh, go to the backpack now. So we'll come over here, and there are um, some little locking tabs here at the top that actually hold the backpack in. So if we pull away, and you can see how this hinges away, and then this piece will uh, kind of come loose. So we want to move this piece down so we have clearance to bring this entire um, nose cone kind of up. And here, what's interesting is this actually, there's the cockpit for um, the jet mode, and it's actually on a spring. So it, it comes up once you um, trans transform him. We we'll come to this panel here. It'll split in two. These little pieces here will open up. That'll let us take the nose cone here and it'll kind of extend outwards to the base. And we want to make sure that it's sitting flat best we can. Come to his ears in the front, close them up, twist the head around. With these panels out of the way, bring this entire section forward 
and these will tab into each other and hide the head. A bit hard to do a distance away from me here like this, but it will lock in securely. There's a tab here for the neck. So there's the center of the top of the jet mode ready to go. We'll come back to the legs for part I missed. This panel here, it'll go ahead and it'll fold inwards on its hinges. We want to have it so that it's sitting like that on the inside of each leg. So we'll do that on the other side. This piece essentially comes up and it filled in the side of the leg, so we just need to make sure that it's now hidden when he goes into his uh, jet mode here. So they have a lot of different panels that move. So we've got the legs essentially ready to go. We will uh, focus on the arms real quick. So these wings here will uh, hinge to the side. And you can kind of see how this um, overall mechanism, it works, it kind of just, it hinges outward. And we want to have it so it locks down, push this piece in. That, this will tap into the hand on the arm like that. So making the side of the jet mode, just making sure that it's all straight and lined up. There's a panel here on the back of each wing that'll fold outwards. These pieces here, um, which were this way in robot mode, we wanna flatten them out. If we look, there is a channel here on his torso for each arm. We wanna slide the arms downward on both sides. And now this next bit is um, kind of tricky. So we need to sandwich the legs, but then essentially the fists here fit into the engine blocks here. So it's a matter of just kind of getting it all done in kind of one smooth motion. Again, there might be a better step in the instructions to hopefully for, for this step where you can see where everything kind of locks together. This piece locks there, this locks covering that space there. It's just a matter of getting everything kind of moved forward and sandwiched down into the correct spot. And we'll finish that up in a second, get the other leg started. So the same thing, we want to come up and then make sure that the hand kind of fits into that thruster there. Move this out of the way temporarily and move these legs up kind of as far as we can. And eventually it'll all peg in uh, securely. So this canopy part here, you can kind of see it stands up. It actually will push down to the other side so that we can go ahead and sandwich this entire piece down. And then from here, essentially it's just a matter of kind of locking um, everything together, coming to the toes here, folding them up. So let me go ahead and do this part on cam off camera and I will come back um, with them all secured together. And after about you know a few minutes, I have everything secured now. These two pieces locked together. The uh, thrusters in the back actually have a tab that matches the arm. This all matches up and locks down. This piece here actually fits underneath the legs. Um, these two pieces here kind of fold in and make the back of the jet mode. This chabs into the arm. Um, these pieces tab into the canopy. And it's overall, you can see it's very, very, very clean here in its jet mode. Um, very nice um, overall. Um, the final transformation step, which unfortunately I have not had much luck with uh, pulling this little piece out here with my, uh, there's nothing really to grab onto, but I just, it's not holding there really strongly, but it's just a matter of getting that initial uh, kind of piece there. But there is the uh, front pincer here for Elagos in his jet mode. Very, very nice homage of G1 Cyclonus here. Um, right colors, nice cockpit. Um, speaking of the cockpit, we actually can open it up and you can see there is a cockpit in there. And if we go ahead and grab our little uh, Galvatron here, which I'll show off, you can see that he's very, very, very tiny. Um, he does have arms that can move side and back. He does have an elbow on each side. His knees and legs can bend, so you can get him kind of situated like this. And this is a matter of sitting him in the cockpit here. which can be just a slight bit tricky because it is so small. And there you can see that he does fit um, nicely into the cockpit and it's a matter of just closing up the window here. And we've got a fully complete Cyclonus in his uh, space, spaceship mode. If you want to, there is a peg hole up here that matches where a nightstick can fit. So you can peg in nightstick 
a bit deeper than this, but you can peg him into the top. He does actually have landing gear that are quite nice. So it's just a matter of lifting up on these two panels and then lifting up on this panel. And you have him just sitting on the on your table or shelf in his jet mode. Nice rolling uh, landing gear there. He does come with that flight stand. And this red piece here just corresponds to these little kind of peg holes on his knees. And it's a matter of just lining those up. And so if you want him just kind of flying upwards, you can have it so that it's facing this way, or alternatively, you can rotate this around and peg him in again, and it'll actually be um, more level. Very, very nice. It does hold him up securely. It, holds him, it would hold him up at the same kind of height as Andrus. And if you want to, you can actually peg in the guns or weapons here into these peg holes if you so choose. Nice secure little bonus here for Elagos. So let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, comparisons for this guy. Row remote comparisons with another X Transbots figure. Here's Andress, their version of Masterpiece Scourge. You can see that Elagos is, you know, a bit taller than Andress. But uh, overall, they look stylistically the same, as if, you know, Scourge here on the right would be a lesser Decepticon than um, Cyclonus. And just overall, really nice bits of design here as Masterpiece uh, Disciples of Galvatron here. Nice effort from X-Transbots. Alt mode comparisons. You can see that they're comparable as far as their size in alt, in alt mode here. They look very accurate to their G1 selves. Very, very nice uh, Cyclonus and Scourge from X-Transbots here. Comparing Elagos to an official Masterpiece Transformer, here we've got uh, Ultra Magnus, another rival from the Transformers movie. And you can see that uh, you know, Ultra Magnus is very large, and therefore, you can see here, comparatively, Elagos is also quite large and uh, foreboding compared to other Mass Beast figures. He's a nice, big, menacing Decepticon here, and he stands up uh, mostly toe-to-toe -to -toe here with uh, Mass Beast Ultra Magnus. And here's a brief comparison of their alternate modes and just how large they are here, side-by-side, -side, as rivals. Some final thoughts here for X Transbots MX3 Elagos, or their take on a masterpiece styled Cyclonus. As you've seen through the video, he does look like what you would hope a masterpiece styled uh, Cyclonus to look like. He's got the right colors, the right design in both of his modes. Lots of nice accessories from a pair of guns, his sword, to even his target master. It's uh, another well engineered piece and designed piece from X Transbots. Uh, Elagosio here is up for pre-order at the Chosen Prime. He should be available sometime in early December. If you like the look of this guy, um, he is a figure that does come recommended, so take care.